Today, I am going to show you all about GPT's new feature, Personas. Let's get into it. When you first log into GPT's, what you're going to see is this dashboard. Here in the middle are suggested prompts you can use if you're not sure what to prompt GPT's. You can also click this icon above it to see additional prompt suggestions should you need to explore them. Down below is the chat interface. This is where you can free prompt GPTs if you know what you're looking for or what you need assistance with. Just above that is personas. Personas is where you can create different personas for GPTs and also where you can add your GPTs personalization. On the bottom left, you'll see essentially your profile. If you click it, this is where you can also edit personalization, manage billing and all of the rest. On the left side, you will see your history of past chats and just above that, the button to start a new chat. So for the sake of today's tutorial, I want to discuss personas with you. My default persona is the Melrose Michaels persona. So for example, if I ask GPTs to write me a script, it's going to use the Melrose Michaels brand personalization and apply that to the output it gives me to write any scripts, any content ideas, just any anything will be written in the Melrose Michaels brand persona category. Now I want to discuss personas. Personas are basically the different characters or the different hats you put on as an adult creator. My Melrose Michaels brand, for example, is very vanilla, very girl next door. That is what my personalization states about the Melrose Michaels default persona. However, if I wanted to create another persona, maybe for a dom type of tone or a kink and fetish version of Melrose, I could create a whole new persona, create specific personalization just for that persona itself, and get different outputs from GPTs that fit that persona's tone of voice and branding. So for the sake of today's tutorial, let's create a DOM persona for Melrose Michaels. First, you're going to click on the persona dropdown, and you're going to go to your personalization. You can personalize your new personas, add or edit them under the personalization in GPTs. At the top is where you're going to see your persona dropdowns. If you click on the arrow, you will see the personas you already have, as well as the option to create a new persona, which is what I'm going to do here. Then we are going to name our persona. So for this persona, I'm going to call it Dom Melrose. Then we will add the description of the new persona. Once you've added a description for your persona, you're going to click create. Now that you've created your persona, you can fill out personalization specific to that persona alone. So let's add some of the personalization to the Dom Melrose persona. Once you've gotten the first page of personalization done, click next and continue the second. Once all your persona personalization is finished, just click save. Great, and now you should have your new persona created. So you'll notice here, now we have a Dom Melrose persona. Now, before we continue, I wanna show you the difference a persona can make. So let's go to our default Melrose Michaels persona and let's prompt something and see how the Melrose Michaels brand would approach it. So the prompt I'm gonna use is give me a dick rating script for an audio message I'll send a fan who I would rate a seven out of 10. Now let's see what the default persona for Melrose Michaels gives us as a response. All right, so as always, on the left side, you're gonna have the very instructional response, which is going to give you exactly what it thinks you want versus the right side, option two's response, which is gonna be a little bit more creative and outside of the box. Okay, so option one is asking me for clarifying questions and I don't feel like answering them. So I'm gonna go and use option two because it did give me a full script to use and it is fairly, fairly good. So I'm gonna select option two. So basically the response it gives me is again, very vanilla, very girl next door. My naughty little admirer, you've been waiting for this moment, haven't you? You've been craving to hear my thoughts. Um, it also goes into, I'm rating you a solid seven. Now, don't you dare think that that's anything less than impressive. A seven means you've got something to work with, something that could make a girl very, very happy. So this is very vanilla language. It's seductive, it's playful, but it's not very dominant. There's nothing in here that is super dominant or aggressive or bratty or any of the rest. So now let's switch to our Dom persona and try the exact same prompt. 
I'm going to go to a new chat. We are under the Dom Melrose persona, and I'm going to paste the exact same prompt. Okay, so on the left side, again, because the option one response is always more instructional, it is going to ask us some clarifying questions, but it also is going to give me the script. So this one says, I can hear you begging for attention. Let's get down to business. It's decent. It's not the biggest I've seen, but it's not the smallest either. So it's basically going through the rating. Uh, it's a little bit degrading, a little bit humiliating. Uh, why am I getting, let me tell you, it's because you're not quite living up to your potential. So it's got a lot of that like dominant, assertive, bratty essence to it, which is perfect. Despite all that, I'll say I'm intrigued. I want to see more of you. Mm, they're nice, I suppose. But again, they're not quite doing it for me. <laughs> Very like indifferent about the whole thing. I love it. And then on the right side, we have our more creative response. So let's review that. It's not every day that I, that I come across something that's just average. But let's not kid ourselves. It's a 7 out of 10, which means you've got potential. But it's not quite there yet. Okay, so cool. I'm going to go with the first one because I loved some of the language here that was used and some of the tone. But yeah, this is a great example of how you can have different personas on GPTs and how you can send the same prompt to two different personas and get a vastly different response that will fit whatever tone of your brand you are sitting in and using with fans at the moment. So I hope this helps. I hope you set up some of your personas and get to using them over on GPTs. Thanks so much for watching.